I work for Dilmar Tea, uh, which is a family business that my father Meryl started. He named Dilmar after my brother Dilhan and myself Malik. Uh, and I've been in the business from the time I left school. Uh, it is the, um, the first and probably the only brand of Ceylon tea that is sold globally. Um, I also started tea tourism in a small way where we converted some of our uh, tea estate bungalows into luxury lodges. And we are now developing a chain of hotels around Sri Lanka, all very small, personalized. Why it is so unique is because of our climate here. We have two monsoons, the southwest and the northeast monsoon, which give important characteristics to the tea here. And the tea here, from kilo, within two or three kilometers, there is a big variation in quality. As you see, the land is very sloping. You have valleys, you have hills. Uh, and you have the different impact of the monsoon. So you have a lot of terroir like you have in wine. Uh, from one plantation to another, you can have a dramatically different uh, flavor of tea, appearance of tea and style of manufacture. So I think why Ceylon tea is so famous is because of its unique flavor. It is citrusy, it is sweet. Um, many other countries are more about color and body and strength, but the unique flavor of Ceylon tea uh, is very hard to replicate. So that is why it is so important and famous in, in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is not only beaches, this tea country is, in my view, the most beautiful part, the most pristine. Um, so it is nice to open this area out to tourists who like being in a non-hotel environment, working tea plantations, no other hotels. They mix with the local people, they can go trekking, mountain biking, um, learning all about tea at uh, factories like Dunkel. So it is something that is quite unique to Sri Lanka through what we did at Tea Trails. I would say the primary area to visit is the Cultural Triangle uh, around Sigiriya and the ruined cities, then the Tea Country and the Southern Beaches. Those three areas are a must. Our food is very different. Uh, it is coconut based, it's spicy, um, and you have a wide variety um, hoppers, string hoppers, rotis, um, and a lot of vegetable curries, a lot of fish. But it's primarily coconut based with a lot of turmeric and cinnamon and nutmeg. Our people are very warm, friendly. I mean, that is what most tourists take away, they say, okay, it's a beautiful country, but the most important aspect is the friendliness of uh, our people. I think that is the most unique characteristic.